Hello friends. Now continuing with our discussion on ignition systems. Let us look at the requirements of the ignition system. As uh, told earlier, these ignition systems are used in SI engines, spark ignition engines or our petrol engines which provide a spark for ignition and combustion. The requirements of ignition systems are as follows. First a source of electric energy that in the battery ignition system the battery was the source of electric energy whereas in magneto energy magneto ignition system system we have a magneto basically in the early, that is like earlier scooters which didn't have batteries for them the next is a spark plug must produce spark regularly these sparks must be synchronized timely with respect to the cylinder piston position at all speeds and all loads of the engine the third one is a means of boosting the low voltage from the source like battery has got 12 volts to a very high potential uh, 20 to 25000 volts required to produce strong arc among the spark plug gap the spark must be sufficiently strong so as to initiate ignition of the charge charge means the fuel air mixture and the fourth one is the system should be compact lightweight and should be easy to maintain i think if you just recollect in 1984 when these japanese bikes came into india like hero honda and uh, tvs suzuki at that time and they were very popular because earlier we had rajdoot yamaha uh, uh, bullet and uh, Royal, uh, this uh, java these motorcycles i have experienced were very difficult to start and they never used to start with a single kick we are mentally prepared that we every day morning we have to apply the choke and start kicking or 8 to 10 times hard kicking so that the engine will start whereas now if you look at these uh, engines single kick they start and uh, forget about kicks now you have got all uh, 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 like push button start electric start so starting is very easy because of the advancements in the ignition system 